I'm back, y'all. It's sorry for the loud traffic. They're doing this on purpose. Sorry for the loud traffic. But, um, wow. The traffic waited till I started the video to start getting louder. But, um, so it's now, what, 8.30? Exactly. So, um, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm sleep deprived and tired. My heart is hurting and beating fast and hard, working extra hard. And they just started this music too. My heart is beating extra hard because of sleep deprivation. Um, and I'm not allowed to sleep here or anywhere else during the day. So that's why I've been begging for help with the hotel and the motel room. And with the sleep deprivation, my heart is being affected. My heart is being affected by the sleep deprivation. And people say you can get a heart attack from sleep deprivation. Or you can die from sleep deprivation. So, you know, I got all, very little sleep, almost no sleep last night. Excuse me. And so, um, they have this marketing job. I'm hoping it's real. I'm hoping it's not a scam. And I have to do it this afternoon via Zoom. I never use, I never used Zoom before. So, like, when I was telling Trisha about it, when I was still by her house, because it's New Orleans based, you know, when I was by her house, she treated me like I was really dumb and retarded and said, well, don't, don't let your, she treated me like I was really stupid with trying to tell me, don't let your, don't let them, don't let them know that, um, that you don't know how to use Zoom or don't tell them that. Like, as if I'm too retarded to, to be smart enough to know to not, I mean, I was just telling her personally. They want me to do a Zoom meeting, but I never did Zoom before. But then she, with a deceitful looking smile on her face, like walking around, like, "Oh well, it's a Zoom meeting. It's not a scam, and you know it. You know it's the real deal, or you know it's serious. You know." She's like, "Well, you you know it's the real deal, and you know it's serious when when you got a Zoom meeting involved." But anyway, with this job that's based in New Orleans. New Orleans metro area. Um, I may have to travel back to my hometown, New Orleans. You know, so I'm just hoping that the job is legit. And if the job is legit, I hope they hire me. You know, so for, for Trisha to make false smear campaigns, like I told her, over the, I mean, I told her um, at her house, I said, well, after the first night, I got no sleep, and it was 5 o'clock in the morning, I was submitting job applications through um, Indeed. And so what she did was she treated me like I was stupid, and she's like, why would you do that? Employers, are, they're not even up at 5 o'clock on a Saturday morning. But on the Internet, you can submit applications any time of the day. You know, if you can't sleep. They'll just get to the applications later on, you know? So for her to lie and say, oh, I don't think Candy ever wanted a job or I don't think Candy ever wanted to work and stuff like that, you know? So, you know, I'm just letting y'all know that I'm trying. As I said, the online gang stalkers, they make threats to find out where I work at and get my job taken away and make me back homeless on the streets again. And then they lie and say, oh, Candy doesn't like to work, or Candy doesn't want a job. All kinds of just games, you know, and these people are looking at me weird. Dog, I shouldn't have moved because now they stole my exact spot out of all tables. So they got noise campaign, a lot of noise around here, and I'm sorry, but I'm about to go now.